room. Today on Atlanta & Company, do you want to lose 5, 10, 15 pounds or more? Well, we have information on a dramatic weight loss procedure that can help you shed the pounds. Plus, QD Mario Lopez is back with details on his new book. And find out why this weekend you'll want to take your family to Babyland General Hospital, home of the Cabbage Patch Kids. It's all coming up right now on Atlanta & Company. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Atlanta & Company. I'm Christine Pallara. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, do you remember the Cabbage Patch Kids, those cute, cuddly dolls made famous in the early 80s? Well, if you just take a short ride outside of Atlanta, you'll find the doll's birthplace. It's a place that you and the entire family can visit this spring and summer. And here to tell us more about the new Babyland General Hospital and its grand opening is Director of Corporate Communications, Margaret Hada McLean. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning. Or should I say, Doctor? Dr. McLean. Dr. McLean, it's great <laughs> to have you here and your adorable friend. Well, first of all, I think many people do not even realize that this place even exists and that you're actually having a grand opening. So tell us all about it. Well, actually, Babyland General Hospital opened in 1978, but now, 32 years later, Xavier Roberts, the creator of Cabbage Patch Kids, has built a brand new home for his kids. Wonderful. And this is what we're opening. It's a beautiful, huge home for them. Well, tell us what visitors are going to see when they walk through the doors. Well, when they come in, this is a, a 70,000 square foot facility. My goodness, that's it's huge. On, exactly. It's on 650 acres of land in the mountains. So you'll see the winding staircase, the beautiful columns in the home. It's a huge facility and they'll ha are just a home for thousands and thousands of Cabbage Patch kids. And families can actually witness the birth of a Cabbage Patch child, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> it's the only place in the world that they can actually watch a baby being born. Now, walk me through that. How, do, how does that work? Well, there's an announcement because, oh, okay. yes, absolutely, the, the the little cabbages start to move around. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? There's some video right there. And there's the cabbage. <laughs> no way. That is so cute. Yes. Our and there's the doctor. Yes, he's actually working up a sweat, delivering one of the babies. Now, take us back to you um, about the creator who you just mentioned, Xavier, because these dolls were just the rage in the 80s. I know when I was probably a little older, maybe 12-ish, is when they really were really popular for us. Absolutely. It started in 1983 is when he went from the soft skull work of art and brought it to mass market and that is when everybody fell in love with these babies that were one of a kind in yeah. a mass market world. And, and talk about how he actually made them. You said sc soft sculpture or the needle molding. Describe that. Right. What you do um, with these babies, they are hand stitched to birth. So if you really take a close look, they are, um, their eyes are hand painted, yeah. their hair, each one has an individual hairstyle. You'll find different eye colors, hair colors, skin colors, every baby, in every color of the rainbow. Now, will Xavier be at the grand opening? Yes, actually, this is his first signing party in seven years so really? it's a very big treat and he will only sign right now the hand sculpted hand stitched babies because these are the work of art unbelievable they're just beautiful I mean if you could see the detail your kids will go crazy and on that note really explain why you think this is just the perfect place for the whole family it's where you get a, a shot of the magicillin in a very, very tough, he, you know, hectic world. Yeah. You come over here and you will forget it all. I mean, how <laughs> can you not I fall know. in love with, with little Tomoko? Absolutely. She's so Tomoko cute. <laughs> and you actually have some friends. We can't forget about these friends over here. Yes. Well, these are little bunny bees and the bunny bees pollinate mother cabbage. As you can see, there's a blue one. And a, and pink a pink one. one. Yes. Okay, so if my child comes out there, can you just, you know, it, there's an assortment, I imagine, to choose from. So I can, she can pick out the child she wants. Like, walk me through that process. <gasps> there are hundreds of Cabbage Patch Kids, all different types, from the soft sculpture to the vinyl faced ones. And they're all adoption fees will range, all different, all different areas. So what you would do is you walk through the, the hospital and there's animated cabbages and, 
the little children can pick out different babies and then when they decide that they're going to adopt that one special one, then they will take the oath of adoption. Oh, that's so cute. And I remember it being a big deal as a kid. You know, you really took it seriously. This was your child. You chose this particular child and, and it was special and you nurtured it. It really is, it, it says a lot to the children about, you know, responsibility. It's oh. a great way to get them started thinking along that path. Absolutely, because they have to promise to take care of their babies. And you know, 30 years later, we are actually seeing multi-generations coming back where they have really taken care of their baby. That is so wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, Doctor. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. And I hope it's free admission, free things at, at our grand opening. And we would love to see everybody come. And tell us again exactly where the location is. It is now at 300 NOK Drive in Cleveland, Georgia. So right up the road. Right up the road from the other Babyland Journal Hospital. Terrific. Well, thank you again. We appreciate it. Thank you. And as we just mentioned, we have a Cabbage Patch Kid that wants a good home. Guys, if you want to bring this lovable doll into your home, guess what the nice doctor's doing? She's waiving the adoption costs. But you do have to answer a question. Here it is. What role do bunny bees play in the Cabbage Patch? What role do bunny bees play in the cabbage patch? To win, log on to atlantaandcompany.com, click on the watch and win icon and answer the question. One lucky winner will be chosen. Log on now, guys, and good luck. And they're gonna be able to adopt Tomoko. Yes. <gasps> Wonderful, so hurry up, get online right now. Again, just one of you is gonna win, so hurry up. <laughs> and the grand opening of the family reunion of the new Babyland General Hospital in Cleveland is this Saturday, May 8th. You won't want to miss it. You can visit anytime from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. As always, admission is free. And for more information, please call 706-865-2171 or visit cabbagepatchkids.com. And this segment was paid for by the Atlanta Convention and Visitors Bureau. It is time to get moving and get healthy. Mario Lopez is up next.